you you keep making references back to suburban noise. Now, are you a f- like so? Is that like one of those deals where, for example, the the best way I can describe this in my head is that there was Interscope, and then there would be like an artist an artist uh, record label. Are you with them? Are they doing distribution for you, or how does that work? It basically varies by project, but like I I work for Suburban Noise as as an entity by itself. Like I do a lot of um, marketing, uh, music. You know what I mean? Like. I, I work a lot with them just as Suburban Noise, but Kevin Zinger, the owner of Suburban Noise, SRH Productions, he uh, he, he he digs everything I'm doing. He's like, hey, what do you got going on? Like the Saint Dog record is going to be a Sub Noise release with Force 5. Um, Scarhead, we're talking about it. We'll see. You know, nothing's come to fruition. The new Saint, uh, the old Saint Dog record was. I So I, I go back and forth with both. But yeah, Force 5 is kind of like, We'll, we'll call it the minor league system for suburban noise okay. at, at times. You know what I mean? Like it's still its own entity, but Kevin's been so gracious with me with everything. Like whenever I have an idea, he's like, yeah, I think I can run with that. You know what I mean? But Zinger is such a busy dude. Like he, he owns like four different record labels besides the suburban noise. Like he's got so much on his plate. You know what I mean? So he's got all these different people that work around him, but the, the dude's nonstop from morning to night. And you never know when you, I, I, I'm two hours behind him. He, he'll send something at two in the morning California time is four. I'm like, oh fuck! I have to get to this when I wake up in a couple <laughs> hours. But he's nonstop. He's I've never met a harder grinder in my life than him. So how did that come about then? So was it just one of those that you guys had linked up and? Basically, for years I was booking X. I worked at the Rave for a while, mm-hmm. so I, I got familiar with how to book tours and stuff like that. So I got to meet people, and I met a lot of the artists from Suburban Noise Records back in the day: D. Gaff, Chucky Chuck, Potluck. Um, head PE, you know, all those guys. So I started setting up shows, even mini shows like weekends. And then it turned into bigger tours and bigger tours. And Kevin knew me from uh, Gillies from DGAF. They're good friends. And he's like, yo, Kevin, you should check Donnie out. He's, he's working hard. So we've known him, but you know, I've known him forever because he's huge. Like uh, I, I, I wish I could be the Kevin Zinger of Milwaukee. You know what <laughs> I mean? But, uh, so a couple of years ago, I, I approached him I'm like, hey, I got the St. Dog record. It's almost done. Would you be interested in partnering with me? Because I, I think you could help me make it even bigger. And he's like, yeah. And from there, it's just worked into He's like, hey, do you want to work for Suburban Noise? I'm like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking brilliant. Yeah. So I didn't realize that you had worked for the Rave as well. So were you booking or were you doing promotions? Like how how did your, that work out for you? It, it was a little bit of everything. First, I worked in the fucking flyer room, stapling flyers together. And I was uh, booking shows for Soar through them, you know what mm-hmm. I mean? Um, so I, it was my way to get a foot in the door with uh, the Rave. And then I got became friends with everyone, and we'd get on all the bigger shows there. And then it turned into, hey, do you want to be the st- uh, assistant stage manager? And I would stage manage. And then it was, hey, do you want to interview a bunch of these bands? And I interviewed all those bands back in the day. And then it, it just developed from there, you know what I mean? And then Joe Balistrieri, the owner, uh, he taught me. He did. He'd show me things like, this is how you do this, this is how you do this. And then Justin Morales, he got in there and, you know, he helped me with a, a ton of things too. So I just got to know everybody who was networking. You know what oh, I mean? Okay. 